Clemson, some things we learned Saturday during Clemson's football game against South Carolina at Memorial Stadium. South Carolina's romp against Tennessee last week was more legitimate than not. Clemson's thin hopes of making the college football playoff are no longer even a pipe dream. Clemson's DJ Uyagalile may be a better punter than a quarterback. At some point in the second half, the decision was made to win or lose with Uyagalile. The number 7 Tigers lost 31 to 30. Uyagalile was ineffective from the get-go and finished 8 of 29 for 99 yards with one touchdown and one interception. We kept waiting for a guest appearance from freshman Cade Klubnik that never came. It's unlikely that he could have saved the Tigers, 10-2, from themselves on this day, but there was no shortage of fans clamoring to see if he could. The death knell for Clemson's CFP dreams came in an unexpected manner. When Clemson linebacker Jeremiah Trotter Jr. returned an interception 35 yards for a touchdown and the Tigers followed with a 9-yard touchdown run by Uyagalele on their next possession, there were likely moans and groans from the South Carolina faithful in attendance at Memorial Stadium. A here-we-go-again refrain would have been not only possible, but plausible. Report card why we gave Clemson football coaching, Dabo Swinney a D and lost to South Carolina more Clemson's college football playoff hope stashed with 31-30 loss to South Carolina after all, Clemson had won seven consecutive games in the series, most in dominant fashion, so Clemson fans were likely X. But from there, it was pretty much the game Cox, 8-4 who charted the course for Clemson's second defeat of the season and first at the hands of their in-state rival since 2013. South Carolina was opportunistic. Quarterback Spencer Rattler, who waited until last Saturday to flash his ability, went 25 of 39 passing for 360 yards and repeatedly found receivers open against a suspect Clemson secondary. Clemson's offense appeared droll and unimaginative, and was compounded by the continuous and worrisome trend of committing turnovers. The Tigers have lost the ball via 15 turnovers, 6 interceptions and 9 fumbles, in the last 5 games after having just 5 total turnovers over their first 7 games. The crowning turnover came when Antonio Williams fumbled the ball on a punt return, ending the Tigers' final gasp with 2.22 remaining.